Hello, this is Steve and welcome to this video on Packland, a cracking little game from 1984. If you get good at this game by watching this video, you too could be a good friend of Pac-Man in the Packland, whatever that means. Anyway, let's crack on. Uh, we've got loads of cool stuff to show you. So at the beginning of the game, you notice that you've got a purple ghost on your tail all the time. Just take a look at that ghost and remember what it looks like, we'll need to know this in a minute. Jumping on the fire hydrants makes the cherries appear. And also, you can ride on the top of the enemy vehicles. This is a handy technique, because you'll be able to get lots of them on screen at once, which is great for the power pill that's coming up in a moment. Now remember that ghost from the beginning, that purple one? We want to eat that ghost last. So I'm going to jump over it. Leaving him there. Eat the other ghost. And then come back for him. That means that we get this on the screen, which is a timer boost. We get bonus points for any remaining time on the clock. And the timer resets. Now this fire hydrant is our first pushable object, and pushable objects are important. As you can see, we've got a crash helmet, and that's going to protect us from the things that are being dropped from the aeroplanes. That makes life a lot easier. The pushable objects are always a fire hydrant, or the tree stump, or the bottom of the large cactus. Now I'm going to put a link in the comments to a forum post where somebody's actually worked out how the computer decides which of those items will be the pushable ones. It's amazing, the guy's done some incredible research, so definitely have a read of that. To cut a long story short, it's based on the last two digits of your score. Now here we are at World 2. I've already gone past the cactuses and none of those were pushable, so it's this tree stump here. And if you push the tree stump, as you can see, we get warped all the way to trip number three, round number nine. And here's an interesting thing. If you jump right at the end of the level, so that just before Pac-Man touches the ground again, the game pauses, you'll get 7,650 points. I use the music as an indicator as to when to jump. Here it is in really slow motion, so you can hear it clearly. On the way back, you can clip this cactus at the top and an extra life will appear. It's actually quite quick and you can miss it, which is why I've slowed this section down. But if you go back, you get an extra life. Here, pushing this cactus gives you these balloons. And if it's not that cactus, it will be this last fire hydrant on the way back. It's important to note that on any level with a pushable object, losing a life before finding the pushable object will remove it from the game. Jumping on particular spots can make a flower appear. As far as I know, it doesn't serve any purpose, it's just a little easter egg. And here's the thing that took me ages to do on the video. If you can trigger the balloons when the third and fourth digit of your score, read from the right, are zero, as you can see here, then every one of those six balloons will be worth 7,650 points. It's such a difficult situation to trigger that I was so over the moon to be able to do it for this video that as you can see, I completely messed up actually collecting the balloons. I only managed to get one of them. Ah well. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Like and subscribe. Do check out that link to the forum that I mentioned. It's in the comments. Amazing bit of research. And I uh, hope to see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.